Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to Bootstrap 3, Lesson 3, and in this video we're going to go over what the Bootstrap grid system is all about. Wow. Alright then, so Bootstrap comes with a 12 column grid system, and that's pretty common across a lot of different frameworks and web designers. Now, the idea is that we add content into the rows and the columns of this grid using Bootstrap's inbuilt CSS classes. And then what happens is Bootstrap takes care of a lot of the responsive work for us so we don't have to worry about making media queries and controlling the width of these elements on different devices. Okay, so for example, I could split my page into a sidebar on the right and a main content area on the left and the right sidebar could take up four columns and the left content could take up eight columns. Now that's 12 columns in width in total, so that takes up the whole width of the page. So we just say to Bootstrap, look, we want the sidebar of four columns and the main content at eight columns, and it takes care of it for us. Okay, so this is typically what a grid system looks like uh, from a bird's eye view. So you can see it's split up into vertical columns like this. Each one of these boxes here represents one column in the Bootstrap grid system. And if you add them all up, you'll know that it comes to 12 in total. So that's 12 columns, right? Now, each one of these going across represents a row in Bootstrap's grid system. And this could be a row of HTML elements in your web page. For example, this could be a row right here of thumbnail uh, images. And you want to say, well, each thumbnail should take up one column of space in the row. Okay, so that's what Bootstrap is doing. It's displaying each thumbnail as one column in a row. Or you might have three slightly larger images that you want to display as a third in each row. So you want three images in a row and you want them to take up an equal space of room. So that's where you design four columns of width for each um, image in that row. Okay, so that's what a grid system is all about. And as long as each row adds up into 12 columns, then it will work perfectly fine. Alright guys, so I've been uh, working away on my keyboard and I've come up with what I think is possibly the best design I've ever done. <laughs> um, I think you'll agree. Uh, but basically this is just something to show you what I mean by the grid system that Bootstrap uses. So what I've done, there's two examples here, yeah? A sidebar example where on a web page, say we've got the main content here on the left, right? And the sidebar on the right. Now you'll notice these little things I've uh, written underneath. It says on large screens, I want the content to be eight columns wide, which is this wide right here. So this is taking up eight columns going across like that. Okay. And the sidebar on large screens is taking up four columns. So one, two, three, four. That's how it currently looks. But I say when it gets to medium screens like tablets and whatnot, I want it to revert to six columns wide on the left, so slightly smaller, and then six columns wide on the right. So now they're equal in width, so it's getting a bit responsive. And then when it gets to small screens, because we're kind of running out of room, uh, screen real estate, what I want to happen is the content to take up the full width, which is 12 columns wide, and the sidebar to take up to 12 columns in width as well. All right, so let's just have a look at that in action. So we're currently on large screens where this is four columns wide and this is eight. So if we move down now to medium screens, then you're gonna notice in a second it's gonna jump. There we go. Now each one is six columns wide, okay? Which is this one right here. Now when we get to small screens, like mobiles and whatnot, now each one is 12 columns in width, okay? So that's the way that Bootstrap works. And I've done no kind of responsive CSS here at all. All I've done is applied classes to these containers right here and Bootstrap has taken care of all the responsive work for me. The same goes for this other example down below, this thumbnail gallery example. Imagine each one of these are cool pictures rather than just grey blobs and uh, currently what I want is for each picture to take up two columns. So there's six pictures, right? And each one is taking up two columns in width for desktop. So that adds up to 12, yeah, six times two. But when it gets down to medium screens, like tablets, I've said, hey, I want this to now occupy four columns in width, each thumbnail, because screen real estate is running out, so it's going to be a little bit bigger on uh, tablets. And then as we go down even further, it's going to go to six columns in width, each thumbnail like that, okay? So pretty cool. Like I say, Bootstrap is doing all of the responsive heavy lifting for me. All I'm doing is adding classes to these elements, and uh, Bootstrap is taking care of the rest. So it's really, really cool. So like I say, to make use of this grid system that Bootstrap provides us with and uh, to insert our content into the columns, we have to code our page the way that Bootstrap wants us to. We can't just code any old way and say, hey, you do the heavy lifting now. It's not going to work. We have to code it in a particular way. 
And uh, in order to do this, we have to understand three key concepts, right? The first one is containers, second one is rows, and the third one is columns. Now we've already seen rows and columns a little bit, but containers surround the whole section of row and columns. If you want to use the grid system, you have to put it within a container div, okay? Then rows represent the horizontal line of element, we've already seen those, and columns represent the horizontal space that each element takes up. For example, it takes up four columns of width, or eight columns of width, or six, or five, whatever you want it to be, okay? So they're the three key components that we're gonna look at over the next three lessons, and we're gonna start with containers. So, if you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, yada, 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 like, share, whatever, and I'll see you in the very next video.